Welcome everybody to the Zoning Board of October 22nd, 2024. My name is Marty Akins. I'm the chairman. Board members, Mr. Hemlo, Mr. Franco, Ms. Barry, Mr. O'Brien, the head of inspectional services, uh, Mr. Collins behind me, commissioner. And uh, Mrs. Griffin is our clerk. Could you please put your cell phone on silent or vibrate not to interrupt the meeting? If you want to speak, please step outside. Uh, I have a few things here. One thing I just want to go over quick before. Uh, let's go to the new business. No, uh, where am I here? No. Yeah, we're in Cornington Street. Here we go. Yeah, yeah no, no, it's 50, it's 57 West. This is it. Yeah. Uh, I just want to speak to them and then I'll swear everyone in. CBA 2463, Robert Natty for variance and finding to construct two unit dwellings in the rear of the parcel, premises number 57A West Street. Just so the board members know, I got a letter here from planning and they want a site plan review to the way how this is going to work down there with parking, moving in and out of cars, how many trees are going to come down, whatever they're going to do because it is three, three units. I know the client says it isn't three units, it's two units being put in. But I think we should have it go to site plan review, go back to planning before it comes to us. So how do you people feel? Agree. 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 All right. Mr. Harrington, we're going to send you back to planning board to get this figured out before you come to see us. Can I have a motion, please? <clears throat> CBA-2463, Robert Mary for variance finding, construct a two-unit dwelling in the rear of parcel on the premise number 57A, West Street, Quincy, Mac, and make, Quincy Mass, and make a motion to send it back to planning for a site plan review. Second. On the motion, say none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Councilor Harrington, I just got this earlier tonight. Before I got here, I would have called you. I apologize. Uh, I spoke to my client and we were going to ask for a continuance to meet with the planning department. Oh, okay. We just got this letter today for the okay. first time too. All right. The uh, planning director is wrong and I sent and I sent him a letter telling him he's wrong. Okay. That uh, this project doesn't meet the definition of what's required for site plan review. I know, it's the way it's, it's written. It is kind of... It's, it's crystal clear two. and plain as that. Well, sec section two, you know, it... it it, it says right in there, you know, limitations on one building per lot. Then it goes into if you're going to have that in the city, you should have a plan. A three, three or more should be site plan review. And your argument is two, correct? Site plan review is required for yep. dwellings of three units or more, meaning correct. one dwelling with three units and one. Oh, dwelling. I don't believe that. I mean, we don't have that. You could have a two-unit building connected to a one-unit building. It's still three units on that. On if the they connect, if they're connected, it's one right. unit. Right, and that's what I would These aren't like connected, to see so they're anyway. not one unit. And I would like to see that, and, I, and I'll tip my hat even now, uh, just so you know. I don't like that plan at all. With a 1900 house that is nice, just done over, and then you're gonna put these two brand new sticks there, they're gonna make it like two different centuries on the same street in one little corner lot hidden out of nowhere. I say, why don't you just build yourself a nice million, million a quarter house down there. It would look beautiful down that nice little road. You got a 20 foot, 20 foot you have to deal with. And it's gonna be all paved all the way back. And you got, and you got ledge back there. You got a lot of stuff back there you're gonna be dealing with. Yeah. You well, get even your drainage and all that stuff. We know all that. All right. The property's surrounded by multifamily houses, so oh, I know it is, not exactly a location for a luxury single-family home. But it is because of the trees, because when you drive down there, you're secluded. You're almost, I mean, maybe in the winter you see it, but that's just my, that's just my, that's the way I feel, just like so you know. If anyone's going to testify tonight, could you please stand up and raise your hand? Take an oath. You can't take an oath. You cannot speak. Anybody up? Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear that the testimony you'll give before the board tonight is the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You say I do, ma'am? Yeah. I, I didn't hear. Yes, there you sorry. go. Thank you. Do you understand? I know. Some people might have a problem. I don't know. I don't think Let's so. go back no, to no, GGA 244, 19 Agwan Road. 
want a variance to create a small patio, accommodate the 10 by 16 foot shed on the premises, 19 I read Daniel Regigini. Uh, we've already taken testimony on this. We went down there and I actually went and go back and take another look at that. The back fence that's near where his shed is, the whole bottom of it's all rotten because the wood used to be, the, the dirt used to be higher when he built his patio. So he wanted to put the shed closer to there so it would have some patio space for a table. I went over there and I looked. That fence eventually is going to have to be replaced. Someone's going to have to replace it. It's, it's rotten. Um, but that's not their fence. It's the neighbor's fence. Looking in there, it probably sticks up over the fence that's there, probably three feet, just the top part of it. It's shedded, it's out of the way. I think it looks nice. I think the yard looks nice. It gives them a little room, and that's why I wanted a variance. I'll be voting yes, but you guys decide what you want to do. Uh, it's very nice, it's very well done. Talking about a ton of money he put into that house. Uh, as you drove by it and saw it before, it's gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, beautiful home. So Much nicer than it was. Oh yeah, <coughs> plus we put a ton of money in there. I'm in favor as well. I'll vote in favor. Did, my question is, do we ask him to move it off? No, we're going to move move it off. Now, if he moves it off back, now you got to build a, a new patio because it took so long to get here and get finished that when he was starting to build it, they made him get a variance because he was building a closer. So what happened as he they did the yard all over and they put in their patios. I mean, it's a beautiful design patio. It goes back with the wall. It's, it's very pretty. It's just, it's just a, that's where it belongs, over in the corner. And it's not a menace to no one on that. No one a menace behind him, beside him. And it just goes over the fence, probably, like I said, three feet max. All right, I'll be voting in favor. Got a motion, please. ZBA. <clears throat> Dash 24-4, dash Daniel Reggie, I need for a variance to wreck the small patio accommodate a 10 by 16 foot shed on the premises numbered 19 Agawam Road, Quincy, Mass. Make a motion to accept as presented. Second. On the motion, saying that all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Further under uh, old business. Cody Chai for variance and finding to construct an attached third unit Existing two family on the premise number 59 Old Colony F. I was looking at the two two pieces we did here. Now, I don't know if I got the wrong ones, but I don't see where we shrunk that. Maybe maybe I'm not looking right. I'd be happy to go through. Yeah, if you could. Uh, Brian Donahue, I'm Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Brian Donahue, Donahue Architects here in Quincy. Um, last in September, we presented uh, this addition. I'm here with Cody Chi, who's the owner of the existing two family. Um, last uh, September we presented this and um, there was certainly discussion and comment from the board about the number of bedrooms as it related to the to the to the parking situation. Um, so we went back and we made some modifications to the project and uh, I can go over those with you now. Um, so what we did, I think the site plan on the bottom shows that in essence, although the building is two and a half stories, the footprint on the site is really not increasing much other than the space between the building and the existing garage. Um, I'd like to remind you also that this is right next to the Gavin Foundation and the T in the back. So um, in terms of a neighbor exposure, it's fairly limited to any other house on the street and also is within walking distance of the T. So what we've done is simplified the addition. We've shrunk the footprint and we've uh, decreased it by 600 square feet in living area. Uh, we've taken uh, in the new unit, we've removed a bedroom, which was um, interfaced with the existing house. We've removed a bedroom and a den. And um, we've also uh, brought the ridge height down two feet. From what we had last month. So this basically shows our addition, uh, we are expanding the existing units slightly to give new dining space for those units. Um, we removed the den on the main floor to a dining room, living room, and we have three bedrooms and one bath on the second floor. So what we also did was 
drop this line uh, two feet above. It was uh, 33 feet, and it's now 31 yeah. feet above the finish grade. We dropped that building down a foot. We couldn't go much further because otherwise um, it's just not livable. We couldn't create livable space um, on the top level, which is the, the bedroom level. All right, and now you got two units. What, what's three units? What's the total bedrooms in each unit now? Uh, it's it's three in the new built in the new unit, mm -hmm. and it's four on the second floor. Four on the second floor, and two on the first floor. Two on the first floor. floor. So I think it's nine now. And how much? How many parking spaces on site? Um, well, we've got the new construction entails a, a two-car garage, and then we've got two tandem spaces two, uh, along the property line. Uh, so four parking spaces. And there certainly is, in a, in a snow emergency, or something, there's certainly enough room if there was a couple of the cars. Um, how many cars are in the... At the moment, unit one has one car. Unit two has two cars. Okay, so three cars. Three cars currently. So... No, two cars currently. Two cars currently. So we believe just because of the location um, and the proximity to the T that this is adequate for these type of units. If a family rented this space, typically a couple, one kid, two kids, you need at least three bedrooms. Uh, and, and, and how many spaces do you have? You're saying four? Two in the garage and two tandem. This, this. I thought we had a fifth somewhere. I don't know why in my brain I should have done that. No. No. I mean, if, we, if we did tandem parking, which a lot of residential projects do, um, mm -hmm. um, people park tandemly in a garage. But we're trying to show this as realistic as possible mm -hmm. that you can fit four cars on there. But uh, in essence, you probably think you'd get one or two more. Right. Could or can? Yeah. Yeah. Could, could or can. Move right. be if they're tandem, so if, if yeah. one family took a spot and tandemly did it. So is it, how, how do we divide the spots, just so we know? You're going you're gonna to have three different units and you have four spots. Who gets what? I would have to defer to yep. uh, Cody on that. Um, you can't, you can't tandem the bottom. Who, how, who would be assigned the spot? Would be a sense. Be people, people aren't using the garage now. Fine, yeah, but not no. no. So the people that live there now are just parking on the driveway. Correct. So, um, but who are you going to assign? Who are you going to assign parking spaces? If I'm so, renting a space, I'm renting a room, or I'm renting my, my apartment, I want to know how many spaces I get. One? Or do I get two? Okay, so the first unit, it's a father and two daughters living there. They have one car. That's today. Yes. Go ahead. Correct. Right. And, you know, they want to keep staying there because they just started college. All right. And the father doesn't You got one there. car down there. Go ahead. So upstairs, I got three sisters and a roommate. They are from Cape Cod, mm -hmm. and they only have one car this whole time. They've all lived there for at least two years. Three years, actually. So the But first they can move out, and there's three bedrooms there, correct? Four. Sorry? Four. 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 Yes, sir. No, they're not moving out anytime soon. Because well, I promised them I wouldn't raise But eventually, back. someone's, that's what we're trying to say. Someone's going to change. Someone's <clears throat> going to move. Someone's going to do something. I get what that. Yeah. Right beside well, the T, which I do get I mean, that too. I'm sure, because I used to live there myself. We, my father, everybody had a car. See? Used to. <laughs> you just said it. Used to. Man. That's our point. Chairman, everything changes, though, in the future, right? Okay. Exactly. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But seriously, though, we used to live there. And there was like six cars, and we managed it in tandem. All right. Uh, yeah, right two now. Two units. There was only two units. Then. Correct. But there right. was like eight people, eight of us living. I know, there. but there's mm -hmm. two units, so you can say, mm -hmm. "Here, that's your half driveway. That's my half. Don't get on my side, and we'll figure it out." I yeah. get that. But now you got a third unit in there. It puts a little twist into it. So, right now, they're in tandem, correct? Yep. So these two cars, if yep. they have two cars, okay. Yep. I don't know if they will or not. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. But these two cars, right, they've been parked in tandem. You know, in theory, if these two cars are here and these guys actually work in downtown, hey, I'm not driving, I'm just leave my car here. I get that all the time. Previous tenants, like previous people that used to come in, 
I'm on the clock. I, I, this I, I don't want to hear about previous sense. I really want to hear how we're going to make this work. Who gets what? That's all I ask. Okay, Paul. So, first unit, we get this one. Okay. Unit two, we get this. Yeah. All right. And third unit gets the two. Well, you know, yes. Just so yes. Okay, unless they. I was thinking about Three. solar in the future, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know, if somebody has an electric car, you know, hey, you can park in there, the charging car, maybe that's something mm -hmm. that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Because they mentioned it to me before, the first unit went and buy a Tesla. I was like, you know, can, can I uh, install a, you know, EV charging? Like, Sure. Yeah, right beside your space, right, right front right, in the driveway. Well, like, yes. So if they park this way, right, one and two, same thing, you won't get this one, it's two, and they go up this way. Could you nice. just run us through the bedroom count per unit again, quickly? Nine. 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 How many per unit? In the first floor. Two. So four, 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 unit one has two bedrooms, yep. unit two has four bedrooms, and the new one we're proposing has three bedrooms. I get it, you're right next to the T and I get all that, I really do, I get that. I get what people are using cars today, a lot of them cost too much money, and I get it, especially people starting out, but. <clears throat> Any questions? I don't know, still nine bedrooms with four parking spots. It's right next to the T. If they had a fifth one, I think it would be great. If we could line that up somehow, maybe the one up front in the corner, they could they could make one in front, I don't know, in front of the house, and they could go around it. They got two cars there. You mean put a space like right where this is? Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. So if there's grass right here, are you going to take this part out and make, make that a parking space? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I can do that. I'd rather have that than those paid. And if it's not used, it's not used, but at least you get in, you get a turn in or whatever you need at that time, whatever they can do. I'll do that. Pulling more to come up. I'd like to be more than, there's the, requ the regs require eight. I'd like to be at least five. That's what I'm saying. He's gonna, put, he's gonna put one more in there yeah. for us. And I would like to see that too. The fifth one makes a huge difference. You know, someone rents a car for a weekend or whatever. That way you're, you're under the regs by three, not four. Yeah. You're, over 50 percent so well it's next to the t too yeah, it's actually you the know? t so they can get yeah, but, i mean still the, yeah. the other stuff that we've done in that area yeah. you know yeah. what i mean we're yeah beale the, street we did one per yeah and then one of the side streets there one of the ones down there that mm -hmm. floods plus that's going to be already yeah. developed i know yeah you know so there is a master plan for <laughs> Somewhere. Someday. Somewhere. And they're going to remove that. Yeah, swimming this, hole is, there. this is in the Wallaston. This is in the Wallaston overlay just Yeah. Well. yeah. Right. Which is going to be less than one per right. unit. Right. Right. Yeah. It's like one. That's one not an active now. yet. It'll so be yes, we can. One or less than one. And I mean, how valuable is the land in there? Because yeah. next to Coffee yeah. Break, they tore that three decker down that right. we fought with for years, and that's only back. All right. So why don't we put the fifth spot in there? Yeah. There. So right. Right. You got it. Put a fifth spot in there. Okay. We'll we can do that. that. Any other questions? Any other things? Anyone? Frankel, anything? No, just so taking out green space to put it in the fifth parking space. No, my question is, yeah. do they then need a variance for the green space problem? No, we're all set. We're just going to have to go Gotcha. Just all right. thinking out loud. All right. Thanks. You guys can have a seat. Thank you. Is there anyone, anyone here okay. want to speak in yeah. favor of the new set of plans? Anyone speak in favor? Second call. Third call, call of power hearing close. No new correspondence, same stuff. Uh, additional uh, correspondence from the planning department who may support this project. <clears throat> yeah, there's a letter here from the, from the planning board that the uh, waiver of the site plan review does not Eliminate requirements, stain all necessary permits and everything else. Uh, is there anyone opposed or undecided? First call, second call, third call closed. I'll be voting in favor. Stay in favor. Reluctantly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Five. It went five. 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 If we can Think put that, the fish space is in there. Uh, the conditions. We'll add that to the. Just add that in the conditions to make it so we can vote. That's all. Want a motion? Yeah. ZBA 
24-24, Cody Chai, for variance and finding, construct, attach a third unit to the existing two-family home on the premise number 59 Old Colony Ave, Quincy, Mass. And make a motion with the added, uh, the addition of a fifth parking spot and make a motion to approve. Second. On the motion, saying none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Further on to tonight's agenda. Uh, ZBA 2464. Kelly Engineering Group for a special permit for the plane. Construct a 11,295 square foot two story addition on the existing, seven, existing <laughs> on the from 79 Cardington Ave, the YMCA. <laughs> I do, I just, I forget this. Yes, okay, yes, this is too down for him otherwise. Comes to my office. You can't talk about it. And this is? That's uh, for the, so I can send over the final. Is this for who? This for Jeff. The final decisions will go out. Oh, okay, okay. That's the old That's the last page. Thank you. Spent a lot of time planning for it. It was all one night. She was here for Hale and then one. Last week, uh, there you go. That is a cr um, conning thing. Did you sign that, please? Both on that Pass it on two pages. That was for that old column we just did. <coughs> you need to add a couple of basketball. Oh, yeah, sorry if you could sign that. Mr. O'Brien. I went out with my daughter all summer. There's only two points. That was mine. That's great. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah, oh, my wife right. was away. You better not go kayaking by yourself. Oh, yeah. the big boys don't hang on the rim. As long as the big boys don't hang on the rim and bend it. One second. We just got to sign these. Right here. This is the I'm a good boy. I wear my best for chasing people down. Yeah. I'm going to have to chase you down, Charlie. Charlie. Come in your house, Charlie. Go get him. Make sure we only have out. we only have one in there though, not two. You always had two. Get him. There's two. There's two. Oh, There's two. I only signed one. Oh, uh -oh. come on. Ah. Frankel, Send it back to the give slacker. It, give it back I to know. the guy in the middle. And my name spelled right. Hey, see. Didn't say Finkel. No, last year. Last year was Jeff. Why are you seeing it? You ever see it? It's like this. You can't even read. It. No words. Like a prescription. <laughs> no words. <laughs> yeah, like a prescription pad. You have the floor, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. I appreciate you having us here this evening. My name is Caitlin Safer, and I'm the executive director of the Hale Family YMCA right down the street. And as you can see, we are proposing a two-story, uh, 10,000 square feet each floor addition to the Briggs Family Fieldhouse that's currently on the back side of our building. Just for uh, orientation purposes, um, to the right side of the screen is Roxy's, um, and uh, behind the uh, field house is the McDonald's and the car wash. So the Coddington is on the left side of the screen. Um, so with these, uh, with the two-story addition, we are proposing. As you can see on the plans in front of you, the first floor we're proposing a, uh, an additional group exercise studio. Uh, we ha see about 7,000 uh, members in our group exercise studios every single month. So we can't feed that beast enough. Uh, we need some more space there. Um, and uh, as you know, we are great partners with the uh, city of Quincy, the Quincy Public Schools. So we have about 400 teens that flood over from the high school every single afternoon that head into that field house. Uh, so the group exercise space would also be an additional space for um, the teens to utilize after school as well. Um, we're also proposing on that first floor to have some office spaces. Um, during COVID, we had to um, downsize a lot of our office spaces, and so our association resources office is currently off-site, and so now just trying to get everyone back together for more communication and collaboration. And the second story um, would be a, a gymnastics center. 
Uh, currently, the city of Quincy does not have a gymnastics center. Um, I'm a former uh, gymnast as well, so I really think that that would be a great addition to the city. Um, and I'm here with my team today, so Brandon will take it from here. Plenty big. I saw all the people that could be in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Brandon Lee from Kelly Engineering. Um, as Kaylin mentioned, uh, the property is located at 79 Coddington Street. Uh, to the north is Coddington Street. To the east is uh, the Southern Artery with McDonald's, Roxy's, uh, Car Wash. To the south is McGrath Highway. And then to the west is uh, Newport Ave. Um, the site currently has the YMCA. It's uh, approximately 118,000 uh, square feet of gross floor area with 377 parking spaces. Um, we're here before you for a special permit for the floodplain district. Um, the property is located within land subject to coastal storm flowage, um, which is uh, due to uh, tide lands. Uh, from uh, the ocean, uh, which comes across um, the Quincy Bay. Uh, that has an elevation of 11. The current uh, existing YMCA finished floor is set at 11 and a quarter uh, above the, the coastal land subject to coastal storm flowage um, elevation. Um, there's uh, existing stormwater management facilities on the site. To the southeast, um, where that North Tower is, there's a stormwater basin. Uh, there's all, also uh, tide gates located throughout the property to manage that uh, coastal storm flowage. Uh, there's uh, multiple tide gates uh, within the stormwater basin uh, from pipes that enters from Roxy's and other budding properties, as well as within the existing sites. Um, uh, where other properties uh, discharge stormwater onto the property. Um, there's also a tide gate um, where stormwater from the site uh, exits onto Coddington Street. Uh, that tide gate is there such that when there's a coastal storm flowage and uh, uh, the high tides come up through Coddington Street, that tide gate will uh, prevent the stormwater from flowing into the property. Uh, this site was constructed a little over 10 years ago, and it was um, previously designed uh, for the, the floodplain uh, with those tide gates. Uh, the stormwater management system was fully designed to hold that 100-year storm volume within that basin. Um, the Zoning Board of Appeals has previously granted this special permit uh, with the original construction. Um, one more. Uh, so we're proposing a 11,300 square foot footprint addition. Uh, that's two stories. Um, we'll also be uh, <clears throat> relocating the existing uh, dumpster. Uh, the dumpster will be relocated. I can't see it, but it's um, over there. And then we are also just reconstructing the handicap ramp access, uh, as well as the loading dock area. Uh, we're also providing a emergency fire access gravel lane. Um, this proposed addition will result in a reduction of seven parking spaces. There's still 371 parking spaces, well above the zoning requirement. Um, um, if you put it on that sheet. Um, the existing, because the proposed uh, addition is located within that existing stormwater basin, uh, that volume will be mitigated with an additional uh, drainage system located within the parking lot, that blue um, square to the left. Uh, so that volume will be fully um, compensated. Uh, that will be taken up by the addition. 
And there's also a new uh, drainage system for the addition of uh, those uh, Caltech chambers, subsurface recharge, um, as well as um, other stormwater management uh, upgrades on the property. Uh, the existing water line will be rerouted around the addition. Um, all the existing utilities on the property um, is sufficient for the proposed addition. Uh, water sewer will all be tied into the existing systems. Um, we've uh, already applied for those intent with Conservation Commission and we received an order of conditions uh, that's ready to be recorded. Uh, we also applied a uh, site plan review as well as special permit from the planning board and they've issued a decision. Uh, the project has been reviewed by the city engineer, Department of Public Works. Uh, they've issued three comments, uh, which uh, we've addressed some of the comments already and we'll provide the operation and maintenance plan uh, this month to them. Uh, we've also received a letter from the fire department uh, basically stating that he visited the site and there's adequate access to the property. Um, Board of Health has reviewed the property, uh, the project, as well as made comments and that's all uh, within the planning board decision. Um, the planning board also submitted the stormwater to peer review for environmental partners and those comments have all been addressed and uh, incorporated into the plans. Um, does anybody have any questions? No, I think it's a very pretty building. You're putting a nice piece on that. And uh, I think it would be a nice thing for the city. Got the room. The thing I want is, you have three things here uh, that'll be read into the record. I don't know if you've, you've done anything about it yet. Is the maintenance record for the whole property should be submitted before the end of October 24. The maintenance plan and maintenance contract for the post pavement should include the cleaning and maintenance, not just inspection. The applicant should provide plans and details for the dewatering process before any digging. Yep. All right, so mm -hmm. just that'll be right into the record, but that's what you were talking about, those three mm -hmm. Yep, we've already right. provided the dewatering plan yeah. and we'll get the other ones. Right. Just for my own curiosity, the, the blue area on the front of the plan, that's the playground? Um, if you look at your, the front page, mm -hmm. if you um, maybe go to existing, yep, the, yep. so that that playground is, is that staying. Playground? Mm -hmm. It's not a pool. It's not no. It's not a pool. It's not a pool. It's not a pool. I think it's great that the city, the city is going to have a, a gymnastic venue finally. The, the city is around. Branky's had it for 100 years. So. Yeah. I think it's great. Nice addition. Comment? Sorry. I think it's a great value add to the community. I have a, a couple of questions. The uh, title gates, who controls them? Um, I think there's... Um, DPW does? Yeah, city. Okay. Do, you, do, you know, do we know when they're are they current? Yeah, uh, DPW. <laughs> Huh? BBW could take care of them. Some of them are over place, some of them are brand new. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking when they uh, when they install them, they put the track in. When yeah. they put the track the new, in across the, new the one? street. Oh, wow. Well. I'm sorry, what? Were the were they gates installed when they put the track in, the new track? That was a separate system or something. Right. It's separate. Yeah, that's, right, that's actual marsh. That goes under that marsh and the roads in the back. Yeah, no, I just wasn't, I wasn't sure that no. if they were Way somehow down. interconnected. Yeah. Okay. There were two pipes down there and it used to flow back. Yeah. And you had to fix all that. Yeah. I used to, I walked through that thing a hundred times when they were building it. Okay. That's my question. Yeah. Thank you. You can have a seat. Is there anyone here that wants to speak in favor? First call. Second call. Third call. Call up by the hearing closed. We'll read this in. It'll be read in letter from the DPW. 
Those are the questions that we had. To Mike Meek and Chairman Zoning Board of Appeals from Changzhou, Civil Engineer, October 9, 2024, 79 Coddington Street, case number ZBA 24-64. Review the submittal of the above reference project. We recommend approval of the project with the following conditions. Number one, maintenance record for the whole property should be submitted before the end of October 2024. Two, the maintenance plan and maintenance contract for the poorest pavement should be included, the cleaning and maintenance, not just inspections. Three, applicants should provide plans and details for the dewatering process before any digging. Any further information is required, please advise. Two o'clock, uh, hearing call. Is there anyone opposed to run the side? First call, second call, third call closed. And it's a beautiful building, it's really proud. And, uh, I know there's people that go down there and talk once in a while when they're doing something at a doctor's office because I've seen it a few times when I was there. And the YMCA has been very, very nice to the people that have to do any business around there as long as they're not hogging it all day. Just go in the parking lot, spend a half hour, they ain't going to bother you. So thank you guys for that. I'll be voting in favor. In favor. Same. In favor. Likewise. Can I have a motion, please? ZBA-2464, Kelly Engineering Green for special permit FP, FPOD to construct 11,295 square foot two-story addition on the existing structure on the premise numbered 79 Coddington Street, Quincy Mass. I make a motion to approve as presented. Second. So on, the, on the motion, just one thing. You said there was uh, 371 spaces. You took seven. Still got 370. Uh, 364. 378 it was, it was 378 losing seven, right? But I think it's the, the, the whole paper in here that I read, you lost six, correct? Seven. I think I said six in what I read. Okay, I just want to check it, huh? Oh my God, we haven't even voted yet. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, God, you, whoa, you're yeah, on top of it. That's, that's talk about a clock, my God. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, so moved. All right, now get that down. Have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye.